book recommendation number one, fiction book. So I read this about 20 years ago, Herman Wook, Don't Stop the Carnival. Man has middle age crisis, thinks he can go and run a hotel in the Caribbean. He can't. It all goes horribly wrong. He has an absolute meltdown. His only way to keep the guests faintly happy while plumbing leaks everywhere and sewage flows across people's beds is to get them very, very drunk. Um, during the course of the whole sorry tale, he obviously has a number of cathartic moments. It's touching, humorous. It's about hospitality. It's a good one. Book number two, non-fiction, one of the best cookbooks ever. One of the rock star chefs of the 90s, Nobu Matsuhisa. The brilliant thing about this book is all the food in it looks amazing and really hard to do. The recipes are nuts. Here you go. Baby squid in tempura butter. What is in this? A squid, some egg yolks, some flour, some soy sauce, some lime juice, a bit of water, salt, pepper. End of story. Nobu Matsuhisa, aka Nobu, complete rock star, really easy book to follow. So book number three, slightly random. I'm not really into science, but Stephen Hawking, who sadly died last year, brief history of time. So Hawking deals with huge things like planets, the universe, how the universe was born, uh, black holes, he's famous for theories about black holes, um, how that all works, um, as explained by Einstein, of course, who was the guy that figured out how the planets would orbit around each other, complete genius from 1915. Um, he explains all the big stuff, but also all the little stuff, the funky, bizarre quantum mechanics stuff, you know, electrons, protons, neutrons, all that crap. Um, he also makes ridiculously complicated scientific concepts amusing and fun. He's got a beautiful way of writing, or he did. God bless you, Stephen Hawking. That is an epic read. Enjoy!